When Molly Begain was a sophomore in high school, she discovered some changes in a mole on her thigh. She went to a dermatologist where she learned the awful truth. She had skin cancer. Six months later, after numerous surgeries, chemotherapy, and radiation, Molly died. She was 20 years old. Molly's sister, Kara, is here to talk about the cancer that killed her sister. Kara, when I hear somebody is 20 years old and dying of skin cancer, my father died of skin cancer, but he was in his 70s. I don't think of it as something that can happen to a 20-year-old. Did you when you found out about Molly? No, I, um, she had told me she was 20. When she came home, I remember very clearly she said, I have skin cancer, and I remember thinking to myself, okay, I think that skin cancer is... The word cancer was, is scary, but skin cancer, that's something that, that could be removed. That's not something that is going to lead to something terminal or fatal. You I thought, thought maybe they would cut out a little piece of whatever it was on her thigh and maybe some cosmetic surgery and she'd be fine. Exactly. Tell me the progression. What happened from the time that she was diagnosed until the time that she passed away? She, would, she was diagnosed in April of 2000 and uh, Shortly after she found the mole on the back of her left thigh, she underwent a surgery, and the surgery revealed that this cancer had spread to her lymph nodes. And soon after, she had another surgery, which revealed that it was already in her liver, just from a small mole. Now, on how the back big of her was leg. the mole on her thigh? About this big. About the size of a quarter. About the size of a quarter, maybe smaller. Maybe smaller than that. And did she find that mole herself and say this is odd or different? Or what was it that triggered her to say, I better go to the dermatologist and get this checked? She found the mole um, herself, and she always thought it was weird, but nothing that would lead to her death. Did it anything. hurt? Was there any pain involved? It was, it started, I think it began to get itchy uh -huh. and maybe even a little bit um, changing color. She noticed a change in color. So to her, that was a red flag. And she went to her health center at school and then had it checked. And then, unfortunately, it was already, it was too late and it was in her system. Now, the surgeries, she had several of them during the course of, of her illness. Tell me about, you, you said she went, had these, what happened to her? Did she begin to just lose her strength and, and her hair through the tr treatment? Tell me what happened. Yes, exactly. She. After the first two surgeries, she had more, and unfortunately, we just kept getting more bad news that the cancer was spreading. So my parents and her decided that they needed to do some aggressive treatments, and so she underwent chemotherapy and radiation and um, other treatments, anything. We were gonna do anything to get the cancer out of her system. Did it make her very, very ill during this time? She lost her hair. She lost, I mean, she was 5'10", and she went down probably to under 100 pounds. I saw her, you know, lose her strength. In the end, she was in hospice, and she wasn't able to, you know, she we brought her home, and she was in our family room, and she wasn't able to, you know, get up to go to the bathroom her last couple of weeks. She was extremely ill. Kara, at what point did Molly come to the realization that she was going to die? Did she ever say that to you as her sister and say, look, I'm not going to make it? I think that she never vocalized it, but she knew, I, I think she knew that we knew, and it was like um, an underlying, we, we understood each other just through the way we talked to each other and the way she, and her last day was um, extremely special because the whole family was with her and she was able to give everybody a hug and just for her to lean up at that point in her illness was unbelievable. It was like a miracle and mm -hmm. she was able to give each of us a hug so it was actually even though it was extremely sad it was beautiful in a way because we were all able to say goodbye and I think she knew at that point that that was goodbye to us. It, it is a very gruesome disease, as I can attest from having it seen in my father. Did, did she, as a teenager, go out in the sun a lot? Did she use tanning booths? What was anything that precipitated this? 
No, she was actually, my whole family is um, very fair skinned, but she was not a sun lover. I actually remember in high school, her friends would be using tanning beds and that was very big and you know, everyone wanted to be tan and she was never did that. She was not into using tanning beds or she didn't prescribe to any of that. She did use sunblock. Mm -hmm. I mean, occasionally we got burns when we were younger, but for the most part, she was, she was pretty sun safe. How sensitive are you? How uh, aware are you? And do you watch this among your friends when they say, I'm gonna go get a tan? And you say, no, 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 let me explain. I actually feel very proud about the work that my family has done and that I have done personally with everyone I meet um, in terms of melanoma awareness and sun safety and going to a dermatologist and just getting the word out there. My friends will, I had friends in college that used tanning beds and I, at the time that I lost Molly, she was, I was in my first year of college and I had friends that were using tanning beds and you know, they wanted tanning oil at the beach and I mean, most of my good friends would never do anything like that in front of me anyway. Mm -hmm. But when I meet random people and they don't know any better and they're talking about getting a tan and going out in the sun and, oh, I got to get my base going. I, you know, in a not too lecturous way, I, you know, tell them like, that's not okay. And you're going to damage yourself. What you're doing is deadly. You know, and, and Molly was such a, a beautiful young lady as we've seen the pictures behind us. Kara, thank you. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with more. Stay with us.